When we were hired for Wyatt GA and GA youth staff, we consented to working with the UUA based on expected compensation of travel, housing, registration, and board for the in-person event of GA. Since the programs were moved to an all-virtual setting, we had to reach consensus to continue to work on the program we were planning. For GA youth staff, there are 12 youth, five adult advisors, and one UUA staff. For Wyatt GA, there are five young adult staff and one UUA staff. When COVID-19 turned our in-person event into an all-virtual event in late April, we as both teams were expected to modify programming, produce pre-recorded content, and prepare virtual facilitation with a limited time frame while also adapting around accessibility in virtual settings. For the Wyatt GA staff, this also meant considering the socioeconomic conditions that impacted virtual participation, and for the youth staff, there was an added layer of safety and care resources for youth attending GA. When the decision was final regarding GA going virtual, there wasn't any transparency around if the staff would receive compensation for their time, much less what it would look like. As a result, we went to the different boards and committees and asked for an amount for each staff that would be commensurate with the amount that would have been spent on transportation, housing, food, and registration. Ultimately, they replied to our request with a stipend that was one-fifth of the requested amount. We believe this isn't okay. We know that our labor is valuable, and we know that GA youth and YA GA programming is impossible without us. The experiences that we are facing now with the 2020 GA is the same experience youth and young adults have experienced back in 2020s, 2000s, 1990s, and probably even further back. We know our history and we are tired of this faith's lackluster attempts to keep youth and young adults in the Unitarian Universalist faith. Members of both youth and YA boards, some of whom are lifelong UUs and are UUs from across the four corners of the United States and Canada. We've been fed the same lip service in correspondence with the UUA since being born in this faith. In good consensus, we refuted and refused the compensation offer from the Unitarian Universalist Association. We are organizing in solidarity and have walked away from our duties for GA programming. Before we came to this decision, the youth and young adult staff teams gathered together and grounded ourselves in our values. Together, we affirmed the worth and importance of our work and our voices in this faith. We know the importance of the time and love we have invested into youth and young adult spaces because it keeps these communities vibrant and fosters a continuous connection with our faith. Ultimately, we decided that our labor is worth much more than what we were being offered by the UUA. With such a tight timeline and budget and inadequate compensation, we decided that it would not be realistic for us to convert our usual programming into a virtual format that would serve and meet the needs of our valued youth and young adult communities. In order to develop in-person, multi-generational, and anti-racist workshops, youth and young adult worship services, the Synergy Bridging Service, and more, we volunteer our time for countless hours of calls and online planning meetings for months prior to GA. To be asked to completely revamp these experiences into a virtual format after we had already volunteered months of planning would have subjected our youth and young adult staff to more months of stressful and unpaid hours of work that we had not asked for. It is negligent of the UA to not compensate our labor fairly when we are being asked to do more work. It feels as though the institution, once again, does not value youth and young adult voices and leaders, and we firmly believe it would be an unjust image to paint that youth and young adults should give their labor for minimum wage rates or lower in order for our faith organization to make a profit. Our youth and young adult communities know what it means to be grounded in and live the principles of our faith. As a faith, we practice giving and receiving radical compassion and gratitude, yet we felt that the UUA has not practiced these values when in relation with our young people. We believe that the youth and young adult communities would not want us to devalue our labor either. Hi, my name is Sean Page, and I was serving as the senior co-facilitator of the YAGA staff for the 2020 GA. 
I have been a lifelong UU and I've been serving the youth and young adult communities for over 13 years. Hi, my name is Martha Durkee Newman and I served as the junior YA at GA co-facilitator for GA 2020. I'm also a lifelong UU and I've been doing youth and young adult leadership organizing for the past 12 years. We, the youth and young adults, have used the formal channels for communication between us and the UA in the past, and we've determined that this type of public communication creates greater transparency. We acknowledge that these are unprecedented times, and we are all doing our best. But if there's any time to create precedent for how youth and young adults are included in decision-making, it is now. Following our, our, our formal request for the UUA, we look forward to building partnerships together to implement these. One, formally inviting lay leadership GA officers to attend major decision-making meetings for General Assemblies moving forward, starting with GA 2021. Two, review processes and mechanisms behind key GA planning decisions in order to determine where and how to include lay leadership in those stages, starting with GA 2021. Three, creating documentation around the expectations and differences between volunteer lay leadership and compensated lay leadership, starting with GA 2021. Four, adding a clause to lay leadership contracts around acts of God and formalizing negotiations of turning indirect compensation into direct compensation in these circumstances, starting with GA 2021. And lastly, host a public forum, such as a WARE lecture, a special session at GA, or a town hall from the UA, to address the systematic under-resourcing of youth and young adult programming by GA 2025. It is our hope that you seriously consider these requests, as youth and young adults are, a major are major stakeholders in this faith and should be treated as such. We are asking for seats at the table, and we feel that 2020 is the catalyst for us to vocalize our value and worth. We hope you listen to this with an open mind, heart and spirit, and we look forward to continuing these discussions. We want youth and young adults to know that our decision does not reflect our desire to provide programming and spaces for youth and young adults. We are stepping away from the institution, but not the community. We will continue to stand and fight for the liberation and inclusion of youth and young adults in our Unitarian Universalist faith. We want to recognize that this may be some difficult news to hear, in addition to the injustices happening around us today at this time. To youth and young adults out there, we still want you to get the support you need. Leading up to and during GA, Stevie, Alex, and Sarah will still be working to make sure that pastoral care through chaplains and right relations teams is accessible and appropriate for youth and young adults. Additionally, they'll hold space for youth and young adult attendees to process. There is a link in the text below that has more, re more information about the resources we've gathered for you. In addition, we have made a commitment to providing spaces for you all, and we would like to follow through with this by inviting you to two different events we're hosting. The first one is a casual gathering for youth and young adults. We'll be having some structured activities to help process what may be occurring and also sometimes just network and get to know each other and catch up with old friends, similar to how we would in person at GA. The other event we'll be hosting will be a worship centered space where we will be singing and breaking bread together as a community to simulate the worship spaces and time spent eating together while at GA.